Hello, my name is David Mahalik. I'm an engineer here at Fort Defiance Industries. In this video, we wanted to talk about all the swage lock fittings that are on the P2131 sterilizer. So there's, there's some fittings that you're probably familiar with, maybe a little unfamiliar with. So we're just going to talk through each of them, and then we're going to show you a quick demonstration on how to pre-swage swage lock fittings. So first, right here, this is called a straight thread O-ring seal. And this is a positionable fitting. So there's two of these on the P2131. They're down in the water recovery system on the heat exchanger. It's a 90 that is installed onto the heat exchanger. And this flat washer and this nut allow it to be positioned and then you can tighten it. So you'll, you'll see that O-ring there. That's what seals it off. It's an O-ring boss seal. So that seals into the heat exchanger and then this nut tightens it. So that is the straight thread O-ring seal. Then we have VCO fittings. These fittings are for the three hoses that connect the sterilizer main unit to the water recovery system. So these will be installed and a hose will come here and tighten down. The big thing on the VCO fittings is the O-ring. You always have to make sure the O-ring is in place that's not damaged, and the hose tightens down, it seals up against that O-ring, and it's good for vacuum, pressure, very reliable seal, but you have to make sure the, the O-ring's there. So that is the VCO fitting. Have a lot of MPT attached to the chamber throughout the sterilizer main unit. So anytime a fitting is put into the chamber, we do it with MPT and Loctite 567 pipe dope to make sure it seals off. So you know they're the tapered threads, so as you tighten it, kind of go off feel, you kind of feel when it's getting tight. Lastly, we have swage lock fittings. And so for swage lock fittings, there's a tube fitting, just think fitting for female, and then there's a <clears throat> tube adapter, which is the male part. So the tube adapter, goes into the tube fitting and it tightens down. There is this machine surface right here that seals on two ferrules that are on the tube adapter and that's what seals it off. Very worthy fitting that seals up to high pressure. We only have 30 PSI throughout the sterilizer main unit. So very good seal. And these are used throughout the whole unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to pre-swage. Most of the repair parts we send you will already have the swage lock fittings installed and we'll go ahead and pre-swage it. So all you have to do is install it and do a quarter turn. But if you were pre-swaging, this right here is called a port connector. It has a machined end. On the machined end, all you have to do is put an empty nut on it. So now that just became a tube adapter so I could install that to a tube fitting. But on the other end, you have to pre-swage. So what you do is you have your nut, so you install your nut first. This could also be a piece of tubing. This is just basically a short piece of tubing called a tube, a port connector. But you could have like a long piece of tubing. There's a couple pieces of tubing on the sterilizer. Then you install your small ferrule, and you're gonna have to look closely here. The small ferrule kind of has a taper to it, and the taper goes out. So the larger OD goes on first. Again, we have to, we have to put our nut first. The nut goes first. Then we put the small ferrule on, and then we put the big ferrule on. And you have to get these the right way or it won't pre-swage correctly. The taper is always towards the end of the tube. So tapers towards the end, then we put the large ferrule on, you can let them fall into place. So now it's ready to pre-swage. To pre-swage, you mark the starting position. We're gonna do it down here on the table. You mark the starting position and you have to go a turn and a quarter to pre-swage. All right, so we've 
gone a turn and a quarter. Um, sometimes helps to use the, the closed end of the wrench. Um, but again, if this is in a vise, it'd be a, a lot easier. So once you've gone a turn and a quarter, that nut is now pre-swaged. So if I undo this real quick. All right, so if I undo this. Now that nut is pre-swaged. So those ferrules compress a little bit and it locks that nut on there to where it's pre-swaged. So from then on, whenever you're tightening this fitting, whenever you get a valve that's been pre-swaged or any of that, it's just a quarter turn. So now that those ferrules have been compressed, next time I install this, all I have to do is put my mark and just tighten quarter turn. When you're done, it's always good to just communicate to everybody else that this has been tightened. You can put your torque mark to show that it has been tightened. So that's how to pre-swage. Again, turn in a quarter to pre-swage. From then on, it's just a quarter turn. And I think that's it for swage lock fittings. Thank you very much.